G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my tips for round 13 of the season. Now, uh, unfortunately, well, unfortunately for me, I have to go through the, uh, the ladder and dropped a few spots after a pretty horrible round of tipping has to be said. Um, although Langs is still at the top of the table, he is absolutely tipping like Wayne Carey at the moment, sitting at 76.3 above Josh at the moment. So, look at Langs go, and let's not look at me. I'm not 19th out of 30th. All right, so, yeah, clearly by that, definitely take on board what I say. Uh, do so at your own risk. All right, we've got Adelaide uh, hosting Richmond. This one will be tomorrow night, well, depending on whenever you see this. Uh, Adelaide Oval, so I think Dusty's out of this one, possibly. I must say I have been... Uh, relatively out of action of late. But I'm going to go to the Crows, who still definitely have a few woes on, on their side of things. I'll go by 23 points. I don't feel like it'll be a walk in the park, especially with uh, some injuries that they've got to key players. I know Richmond have got a laundry list of players, um, but we saw yeah, Adelaide struggle against the Hawks. But also that was in Melbourne, where it's definitely not a happy hunting ground for them. Over to the Friday night game, and we've got the Western Bulldogs up against the Lions. I haven't been able to pick these two uh, all year. They've been really inconsistent, and as you can see, they're sitting 11th and 13th. I like what the Dogs have been doing. I trust them slightly more than the Lions, but that's uh, not saying a lot. Uh, home ground advantage, I mean, Brisbane can uh, sometimes find a way. But, uh, yeah, I think it's obviously a massive injuries on Brisbane's standpoint as well. Some key players... I think the dogs have been in really good form. They're definitely in you know, better form of late. So I think they'll get the chocolates. And then over to another lot of teams that I can't pick all year either is Hawthorne and GWS. This one will be in Tasmania. Going to be, yeah, an interesting clash. And I'm leaning towards the Hawks here. It's going to be one of those games where I finally pick them and then they, they put in a, a mulligan. Um, so what did the Hawks do? They got the chocolates last week. I'm trying to think who it was against. It was against the Crows, as mentioned earlier on, and the Giants uh, defeated the Cats in the category, then had the bye. So um, they'll be off with a bit of uh, fresh legs in there. But I still think the Hawks will find a way to get it done. Then over to Optus Stadium, we have West Coast, and they've got North Melbourne. Up the stadium, so yeah, I'd look to back the Eagles in uh, to get the job done. Over who did they? Who did the Eagles have? They had Saints, and they couldn't get it done, which I was very disappointed because the Saints have been horrible. And yeah, Harley Reid's out. Going to be interesting. It's it's a bit of a smoky for North to, to be a chance. I think the Eagles should win, but we'll yeah, not with a lot of confidence, I must say. Then. Saturday night, we have St Kilda hosting Gold Coast. This one will be at Marvel Stadium. And what have the Saints got here? They went yeah, went to the West last week, got the job done over the Eagles uh, unexpectedly. I don't, they weren't favourites. Then Gold Coast, a very nice win over the Bombers at home. They're going to have to win one at some stage away from home, Gold Coast. I reckon they'll be good enough to to get the job done. So I'll tip Gold Coast with uh, their midfield firing on all cylinders at the moment. SCG, Sunday afternoon, we have Sydney hosting Geelong. Sydney, uh, they're coming off their second buy, and Geelong have not had a buy yet. Uh, a lot of teams haven't had a buy yet. But that's okay. Uh, Sydney to win very comfortably, probably in the... Hopefully not more than eight goals, but I suspect it'll be a very comfortable win with uh, Geelong's form of late. I don't think Dangerfield and Guthrie will be back just yet, but they'll be probably back after the bye. Uh, just a yeah, bit of a guess on what Scotty likes to do. Sunday night, leading into King's birthday, we have Essendon and Carlton, MCG. Bombers have uh, yeah, had some good form of late. Went down to the Suns in a tough game away from home for them. Carlton looking the goods at the moment, and I'm happy to back them in here. It's going to be an absolute corker, though. I think Carlton in a very close one. Then we go to King's birthday Monday. We've got Collingwood and Melbourne. This one will be at the MCG. 
Look, I feel like the Pies are the better side to have a lot out, and Melbourne probably had one of their worst defeats in a very long time. I'm going to go the Ds to respond, and if they can't respond, I think their season's just about done and dusted. Where are they sitting at the moment? I think they're sitting 10th at the moment, and unless they win a mass amount of games in a row, I think they're in a lot of strife at that point in time. All right, I've submitted those. So we've gone Adelaide by 23, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne, West Coast, Gold Coast, Sydney, Carlton, and Melbourne to get some wins on the board. All right, well, it's been pretty rough. Uh, so <laughs> definitely last week it was very rough for a lot, and two out of seven, not great. But, uh, yeah, we'll lick the wounds and get back to work and try and, uh, yeah, get back into some better form. All right, guys, uh, comment who you think is going to win this week. Join the tipping competition. Uh, link is in the description if you want to get amongst that and join the comp. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Give the video a like if you haven't already. Subscribe away so you can keep up to date with how well I'm going on tipping and uh, have a good laugh here and there as well, I'm sure, with some of my you know, picks that I've gone. All right, that's all from me, folks. I'm signing out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.